Hi there, I'm Big Johnny 13 and today I'm going to show you how to make an origami shuriken, or, or commonly known as a ninja star. Now, first you're going to need a sheet of paper. Now, I like to use a uh, thicker paper because it, you know, has more durability here. It's, you know, something a little bit more flimsy like printer paper. Now, first off, take your paper, you take one corner of it, and you're going to fold it over. And fold it over to one side here, leaving a little bit of space. So let's do this. Take it over. Bit of fold it, fold it. You want to make sure you match the edges nice and clean. Because you want to give yourself a nice clean square here. Fold this sheet over. Fold the fold. Now, if you mess up the corner, if you mess up the fold, just you know, kind of slightly adjust it. Because if you mess up one shape, it's just gonna ruin the whole thing. So we have our folded sheet here. And I have this little little flap here. You know, you don't want this flap. So you use your fold this flap here. Fold it over because we want to get rid of it. So again, match up the side for a nice clean fold. Fold to fold. Do, 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 do. Fold over. Match the side. Fold it down and across. So now we got this little got a little triangle here, we got this little this little flap thing here. You're gonna what you're gonna do gonna do is take this flap and just kinda kinda rip it off. Just there you go. Slowly tear it down. You don't need this flap, it's just just a useless piece, you know. Slowly rip, rip, rip. Almost there. There you go. Now this thing uh, toss, toss, I don't know, you don't need it anymore. Oh, so now we have ourselves a Nice square here. Now, next thing you want to do is unfold your square. See how you have a nice square? And now you're going to want to fold it in half. I suggest uh, folding using the top edge, not the, using the clean up edge, opposite of the ripped edge here, to make your fold across. And then fold it nice and half across. Fold this here. Fold it down and across. Now we have ourselves a rectangle. Ta da! Rectangle. Open this bad boy in half. Now, what you want to do here is you want to rip the, rec the thing in half. So you want to tear it down the dice fold you just made. Tear it, tear it some more. Then we fold it back in half. If you have a ruler, you can use the ruler to tear the edge across it. Makes it nice and clean. I'm going to use my table here. Rip in half. Also, use, if you put on a flat surface, you can use your hands and sl slowly tear it apart. Comes out pretty good. Now we got two nice halves here. Now what you want to do with each half, you know, fold it over a half again. Make you know, yourself another smaller rectangle. You know, fold this over. Do 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 do. do. Make it a rectangle. And you want to make sure it's nice and properly full in half. A slice there can throw off the shape. We have one rectangle. Same thing with the other one now. Do, do, do. Again, use the top of the non-ripped edge to kind of align it up together. And then use the other ripped edge to give you the side angle. Here. Again, fold that in half. Now I have these two folded rectangles over here. Now what you want to do with each rectangle, you're going to want to fold down the corner, make yourself a triangle. So we're going to take this corner here and fold it across here like this. Fold it down like that to make yourself a triangle. Down and fold it over. So fold it over. So you see your hair here, and then you fold it down. Now we're taking this to do this exact same thing to the other side. But for this triangle, see this triangle, flap is facing over here to your, my right. 
Now what you want to do is the other triangle. You want to have the flap facing over to my left. So take this. So you want the triangles facing opposite directions for this one. Take it. Here. So now we see the two triangles are opposite. So one's flap here, facing my right. Flap here, facing my left. Now, same thing goes to the other triangle. I mean the other rectangle flap we have. Fold one. One fold over. Do, 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 do. And then get on the other side, fold to the opposite direction. And fold over. Now we have one and two. Near identical. Now what you're gonna want to do is take the flap, and what you want to do is you're gonna fold this triangle, gonna fold the flap over. So you want to kind of make a little like a base triangle here with the longer flap here. So you're gonna take it here, here, and fold it along the edge of the triangle. See the first triangle flaps right here. And you want to have this folded down towards the flap. So you have a nice uh, isosceles triangle over here. Let's take this, fold it down. So you have this little guy here. Now for the same the other triangle we have on the other side, you want to do the exact same thing. So you want to take him and fold him, make another isosceles triangle. Take it over here. Now you're gonna get a bit of resistance from the paper, maybe a bit of bubbling. Just kind of force it out and force it through the shape. And what you end up with is with this kind of weird ZS kind of shape going on here. Now this is very important for the last step. Now you take our other strip, the exact same thing. Fold once over. Get triangle one. Flip it over. Fold it again. Crease out that bubble. Fold it over here. And we got our Z shape again on this triangle. There we go. Now Take your two triangles. Now notice how one end has the flaps available. The other end kind of just has this one middle flap. You want to have your two ends with the flap sides facing out. So you want to make yourself a little star like this here. You know, got this. Now what you're going to do is each flap, you're going to fold each flap across down the crease here into the middle of the shape. So, you fold one corner over and you hold it in. Now see, it's been folded, so you have it here, and you fold it down in towards the middle. So you have this triangle here pointing to the side. Now, you're gonna, what you want to do is you want to work your way across uh, clockwise here. And you want to fold the point. So basically, see this point? This point's pointing off towards my right. So you want to fold the flap that's to the right over into the triangle. Same thing. Again, fold it down the crease. Fold down the crease. So now if you know we have this one flap here, little guy here, and this guy's like, woo, hello. What you want to notice is if the first flap off the top, there's a little opening right in the middle of it. This little opening here. What you want to do is you want to fold the second fold the triangle, put it into it. You take it here, open up, and you're going to slide this second triangle right into the first opening here. Now, take the next one right at the bottom, fold this guy up. Fold him up there. He's folded up now. Now, same thing goes. We fold him up into the crease of the side triangle here. Fold it up. Now, this one's going to get me a little tricky because you got to start sliding it up there. And there we go. Now, I have the second fold here. Now, with the last one, take this guy, fold him up, and slide him into the crease again. Now, not only do we have this first crease, we have to slide him into this guy's crease, but also you have to slide this extra one here into the crease of this one here. So you want to wag a little. little. Uh, it's going to be a little awkward here for this one. Just take some practice. Force it in. Here, you know, once you got the fold in, just kind of flatten it out. Flatten it out. Make sure you got the creases all nice and tight. Flatten it out and, yeah, make sure the bubble's gone. And there you have it. Origami Ninja Star, check it out. Works pretty good too, check this out. Works pretty good. Take care of yourself, make